let's go for now we keep doing what we've been doing seeking out endless and learning what's dear to them Miss Path Garden. Bleep bloop. Error. Error. Verification system initialized. User registration confirmed. Greetings and welcome to Wind's Path Gardens. The sanctuary of exploration and discovery. Marvels of the natural world await you. If I could have everyone's attention, I know we have pressing business, but I'd like to say a few words. Good for you. Before I died, I had two wishes. The first was to see who my Elaneshpia would become. I would say that wish has been fulfilled. Indeed, it has. For the boy who once shunned company has returned a somewhat sociable man surrounded by wonderful friends as his mother and mentor both i couldn't be more proud as for my second wish <laughs> that was to see all manner of nature that i had never seen before I hoped to explore every corner of the world and there find thriving life. <laughs> but I didn't even get to see all of Tural, did I? <laughs> Never enough hours in a day, or days in a year, or years in a life. Oh, don't give me that look. Though, admittedly, I did go and spoil the mood. Apologies. What I was so poorly trying to work up to asking was this. I want you to help me fulfill my second wish. I have a good feeling about this place. There is so much here I've never seen before, I just know it. We'd love to see it with you. I thought you might say that. Thank you. Ah, oh, great, a toaster that didn't date feelings. Wind's Path Gardens is home to a collection of flora and fauna that once thrived on the continent. Like the rest of living memory, I haven't explored it in earnest. Controlling my vessel demanded all of my attention. But at long last, I'll get to meet the creatures here. Wrap things up with a perfect little adventure. So, shall we? Absolutely not. We're to grant you your wish, and then what? You leave. You cannot ask that of me. And there goes oh, the opportunity to be the coldest be. asshole. Please understand. I just wanted to end on a happy note. Not only for myself, but for all of us. 
better that than a sad goodbye, surely. Then with your consent, let's begin our adventure. Naturally, when we go about this, feel free to continue befriending. And listen, be sure to absorb the delightful scenery. This particular gun is called Blooms of Discovery. Beautiful, isn't it? It's absolutely stunning, and they're all actual plants. They are indeed. These specimens were brought here hundreds of years ago for conservation as the clan had pushed them to the brink of extinction. But this one is like, it is like a great conservatory. Precisely, my dear Kral. Here you'll find flora and fauna like of which no longer exists elsewhere. Doesn't the thought just set your heart a flutter? I suppose. I expect that some creatures I encounter outside of Tural may have cousins in this world. I'm no expert on life on their reflections, so make for an interesting study to compare them. Now there's an idea, leave it to my pupil to think up such. We have not only the world's traversing adventure and a veteran gleaner, but a pair of Charlian finest scholars besides. It is a veritable gathering of inquisitiveness, I'm thrilled to be part of it. All right. No, I'll grab the spell speed. Why not at this point? Begin with, I like you to scout out the visit. You can report back with any points of note. This will be a good opportunity to speak with the locals. They are bound to be familiar with the area after all. As Life Pierre suggested, it would be interesting to compare the creatures or those natives to the source. I never ventured outside of Thrall, so I look forward to your insights. Just leave it to us. I've only ever been to Charlie and myself, but I'd like to. I know, in, in, I know interesting when I see it. Just don't get her near a boat so she doesn't vomit. Actually, why am I doing this considering I can just do this and there we are. So I need to go through a gold saucer at one point or another. Specimen observing endless. Yay. Another coated toaster. Oh, hello there. What are you doing? You ask. What am I doing? You ask. Look at the trunk. See the plants. Flip. Capsules. What trunk? What? Lady, you're on crack. And again, what do I expect from a half broken code? These specimens can neither. Uh, that either can survive the back garden or will become invasive. And disturb the ecosystem. Capsules recreate the conditions they require from tropical to frigid climates while keeping them isolated. And this way, any and all plant life can be preserved forever, just like ourselves. Yes, you're mad. Note it.
Then how about you just... Uh, you know what? I'm not even gonna bother. You see creature... A creature one or another resembles tree and native to the twelfth wood. And they call it a timber man. Uh, original. How about you, what do you call a bunch of them? Timber lake? Let me guess. Use the flow flower garden appears to have metallic been methodically maintained, not by the endless and by machines. Wow. Who'd have thought? Water watching endless. You know that even the water here is created using electrope. The show product is too pure though that adjustments have been made so the composition resembles what found in the natural environment. What the fuck is that? And then, just one of those many things they do to create the ideal conditions for the plants to thrive. I don't know what become of the world outside the barrier, but I should like to visit a lovely spot such as this in real life. You can have uh, lovely spots if you've ever been to the top of this lookout here. It's a great vantage point that there is even a food stall in case you're hungry. Oh boy. I want to just part and kick her in the leg. Like... Maybe in the leg too. Should prove amusing, considering what's gonna happen to this whole place in a couple of minutes. Or uh, terminal gazing endless. Yes, you're terminally stupid too. So what are you gazing at? Ancestors aren't actually examining what we have from a place called Conte Petai. Conte Petai. They had some. Unique customs there, for instance, we greeting someone you had see. Holly ho! In a spirited manner. Our settlement was also famous for a gigantic tree that grew nearby. It was so enormous that when you stood at its base, the roots covering the ground went beyond the horizon. The terminal here in the Windspring Garden is apparently inspiration of that very tree. The Leafa tree. It, its name was... Not be real, but it's nice to have it as a memento of prosperity. Alright, what do you have for us? And welcome back, Archer. Kyle has just delivered to me the most fantastic report. Some enga engaging impressions to share too, I hope. Eh, not so much. Apparently the water is GMO and people are mixing shit in it. Who would have thunk? Well, that's very interesting indeed, but I must say, I'm most fascinated by the bungulating trees. While there are similar creatures in Urkopacha, you should tell me more about the trees as you, as you know them. They're native to the woods, they, where they prey upon even wolves. There are various subspecies, such as those with red leaves or gnarled look. They like to hurl acorns at you. Exploding ones. <laughs> yeah. That sounds like an me answer. Exploding ones. Yeah, is that so? To maintain such formidable creatures, imagine there must be other equally opposing species to keep them in check. Yes, they're called axe wielding maniacs. A management of ecosystems. That calls my mind labyrinthos, does not. Yep. That it does. Unless you wonder, labyrinthos is a storage facility deep beneath Charlion that consists of recreation of temperate climate zone. Place exists? Amazing! By the by, did anyone also catch sight of a large scale can? Large scale, can I say? What does it look like? Nothing I've seen before. It has a rodent, rodent like form and walks on all fours. Like a rodent, wouldn't that make it a bee skin? No, it's covered in scales. Ones that appear to mimic succulent plants, but that would definitely classify it as a scale skin.
I'm sad to say for certain without seeing it, why don't you show me? You know, it's in a flower field earlier, it should still be near. Let's go over there and we'll find it when we see it. Who's right? The two of you should come along too, lend us your opinion. Ah. Go ahead, Archer. I'll let the others know and then join you. Let's now anger Timberlake. Urkulpacha! Yay! I almost forgot that zone existed. But be similar in the ancient Chev War you encountered in the first. There's one there. I see, I see. At a glance, certainly looks like both scale skin and beast skin. Let's have it more close, shall we? Let me reservations. Looks like it's about to shit itself. There's a pointy snout. Sounds like useless observation. Let's do that. Eat. The shot would be suited for feeding on ground dwelling vile skins. And it's chasing its tail. I inserted it. I believe that the scales upon its back are in fact a unique form of hide. Rather than being shed, it grows with the creature. You may be alright if we consider that along with the other characteristics such as its face and hands, more likely to be a beast skin, like you said. Because the mention would be needed to confirm this beyond doubt, but I'm just satisfied simply to have seen it. Me you alone were familiar with the species, where did you encounter it? On another reflection of, the, of our world, the very kingdom of the first has been to the very edge of existence. He has seen a life that others could only imagine. Amazing. Creation truly holds no end to mysteries. Oh, how I'd love to see them all, the life beyond the bounds of our star and plain, plain, plain both. Jesus Christ, this guy's gonna get emotional now, isn't he? Considering how much of an ass he was in Walker, fuck my life. Looks like we were having fun. I hear about the unknown, never fails to rouse me. The same way when Kid and Ram and Gulf treat me to tales of their travels. You met my grandfather too? Oh, didn't I already mention it? It was when Gulf came to Tural to investigate the Golden City. I happened to have business with Gold Jazz, so I met with. I met in Tuliol. Little did I know the tiny babe he was carrying would return as you. I think that our paths have already crossed all. These years ago, only yours and mine, neither. Olympia was there too, you know. I don't remember. Quite fine if you don't. It's actually, because Cove told me about Charlie, and I later urged Olympia to take up gleaning. I fuzzy bun bun. I was going up dour and withdrawn, it was when I was at my wit's end that I recalled your grandfather's stories about gleaners. Seeing the world through their ventures would inspire a change for the better, I believe. I'm sorry I was dour and withdrawing. If you ask me, you still have some work to do, but it's because you are the way that you are with us now, and I for one am grateful. Eh. Well, let's keep moving, shall we? There's a facility I've been wanting to visit. 
Playa Museum of Nature. It's supposed to have creatures that take you on major flights. There is just one problem. See, only three people can fly at one time. Then you and Val should go. The rest of us still have plenty of other things you can do here. If there is room for more, more, one more, why don't you come with us, Archer? Can I not? Can I not? Can we end this charade already? Ah! And it's settled. The museum is at the bottom of the ramp that runs west of Liano Earl. Come on. You know what? Let's see if I can actually fix this thing. That's what I think it is. Crash it. Laddy daddy. Now the final quest is up for Scotty. A capybara? There is Where a museum of nature. The main building is closed due to the eater shortage, but happily they're so offering leisure flights. And these things, it fills with bears. How adorable. I'm not capable of flight. <laughs> Come now, you know better than to judge creature by its appearance. This will be great, I just know it. And I just know that this is gonna be a shit show, obviously. Did it take this as Mehapuyara back? Banging your pirate mode, this is where you can go on leisure flights, yes? It is bearing you will be our adorable mephoirs. Or especially trained by a trolley friend. Say the word and we'll send you up, up and away. We have it. Are we then? You ready then? Go ahead and mount up. The Mephoirs fly a set route, so you need only rest and enjoy the view. Ah, let's do this shit. Ha, <laughs> how exhilarating. I'll be damned if you really do fly. Hey. <laughs> The way we're flying information don't look like migrating birds. Except we're on giant rodents. Speaking of migrating birds, the lard is where your name comes from. Did I ever tell you that? That I knew, but I learned it from the shamaness, not from you. A migrating bird can fly anywhere it desires, even across oceans to distant continents. And you've done just that, my clever mallard. I thank you not... I thank you not to call me that. Oh dear, it's over every time it really does fly when you're having fun. But I joy to see living memory from up high. But don't worry, we'll destroy it in a minute. Dot 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 dot. Yeah, I'm a fire involved. Yeah, about that. That was a wonderful experience worth saving for the very end. You two enjoyed yourselves as well, I trust. Meh, was alright. Good job enough, I suppose. From my fussy bun bun, that's high praise. I'm glad I invited you and Archer. Thanks for indulging me. Why could I go for another hundred rides, but I must sell for the one. Time we headed to the Arrow Terminal, if there are still things you wish to do want to do them now when you're ready make your way along the path yonder i'll find the others and let them know the same
Okay, if I speak with the dumbass, will I be able to fly them again? Please come and fly again anytime. Nope. Knew it. Alright, she's only a facsimile constructed of her memories, understand this. Only she's right there, as alive and spirited as I've ever known her. Am I supposed to do it? How am I supposed to erase her? Does she even know how it tears me apart? Jesus fucking Christ, dude, get a grip. Or want me to kick your ass? Uh, how delightful this has been. Not since my journey with the Dawn Serpent have I enjoyed myself so. No, I'm selling it short. This was even better. And that's because I was able to share this adventure with my darling boy. Well, this is as far as I can go. As for the rest? Just stop. You're doing it again. Deciding everything by yourself, and then disappearing. Ellen Espia, you're my pupil, so you ought to understand. Everything that lives must one day die, and that which has died isn't meant to return. This is the way of nature. Mine is an unnatural existence, and I've suffered it only because I had to unmake this twisted mausoleum. But now that brave souls have appeared to whom I might entrust my mission, I may finally embrace the end. Can't you be happy for me? How could I be happy? I was actually quite scared, you see. Scared that I'd be trapped inside the barrier forever and denied the thrill of discovery for all my days. Your coming gave me courage and comfort, Ellen Eshpia. More than you know. And now here I stand, unburdened and free. In this moment, the happiest of my life. Wow. Robot can think. Imagines emotions. Get her ear in gear or I'm gonna cleave the damn thing in two. I mean, technically speaking, anybody of the group can do it. Not just only him. For the love of... As you wish, mother. I'll continue what you began. You were right, of course. Leaving home has broadened my horizons. I've met my friends and found this place. So I bid you leave your dreams with me. And no... I'll go where you couldn't go, and do what you couldn't do. I will. Promising that to machine, a program, things. Boy, do some Look people need you. to grieve. All grown up and dependable. Yet with so much more ahead. A world of experiences await you, each a lesson of its own. You may know failure and burning regret, but these two shall become beacons to guide you. So come what may, hold your head high and carry on with conviction. And wherever your journeys take you, Keep me close to your heart, will you? I should like to be there to see what I haven't seen. 
You will be mother. Now, run along, and never forget that you're my pride and joy. I trust you all can handle the rest. Take care, and farewell. I mean, I I get what they're trying to do. Uh, like, uh, uh, fortunately, it doesn't click with me. It's like I know uh, their effects simile is based on memories. Doesn't exactly make them alive, despite what kind of complex computations are going on in the background. So yeah. Not feeling it, Mr. Krabs. Leave it this to you, Arnival. I won't waver, not anymore. Oh wow, well, we found your balls, mate. Good for you. You're ready yourself, then so am I. New kit. Because I'm ready to break down the main citadel. Computer and program. That makes all of them. All that remains is to wait for the meso terminal to become vulnerable when it's about to initiate fusion. And then we strike. Hell yeah. Wrath of God incoming. And that's my cue to bust down a tower. <laughs> Let's go. All residents will shortly be replenished. Be at ease. No action on your part is required. Sadly, no residents replenished either. <laughs> we thank you for your patience. Wait, it's already begun? Then let's bolt it. Let's bolt. Yep, knew it. 
the freaking machine was trying to delay us as much as possible. I don't want too soon. So if she's saying she won't let us go as we please anymore. Do as we please anymore. There are time here we come to know what it is being seeks to protect, but that doesn't change what we have to do. Yeah. Frequent flyer five. Wait, wait, does that give me anything? Eh, nothing, just achievement points. It's one fixed in this terminal. Oh, carry out Couch's plan. It's our best chance of stopping the scene. Be dangerous, it shouldn't doubt. We'll all be prepared, I assume. That goes without saying, come. Get to the missile terminal. And now that I can fly, I can bust out the arc. Let's go! Alright, how do we break the thing? No good, it seems you can't simply shut down the missile terminal like the others. Then we break it. Not surprising in the least, my mother did tell us his defenses are tight. Just left me a means to circumvent them, a program that will send your soul into the terminal's memory banks. Therein lies a virtual domain journey by Sphinx's memories. So we will venture into the domain and then seek out and stop Sphinx. Oh boy, I'm gonna get digitized. Oh great. If our souls are transferred in their entirety, dying in that domain would be no different than dying out of it, outside of it. There's no guarantee of safe return. Shocker! But nonetheless, that's a risk we must take. Yeah, like, let's be real. Not the riskiest thing I've done that could cost me my life. This in the game. You already come this far, it'll be a, and I'll be dead if I'm going to turn back now. By meeting with the endless, we gain a better understanding of Sveen and the burden she bears. I want to say a few things to her when we meet, even if it doesn't make a difference. Whatever happens, we won't let Sveen walk her misguided path any longer. Our duty is living, eh? I don't like the sound of that. I'll do all I can to provide support. Mara has instructed me on her program as well as the world within the terminal. Also keep an eye on your bodies when you're gone. Come to it though, I won't hesitate to call on our comrades outside. I'm actively aware of my limits. Alright, good. Upon entering the terminal, we will most certainly meet with fierce resistance from his defenses. Then there is Fiend herself. In order to intimidate, initiate interdimensional fusion, she said she intends to erase her own memories. What manner of entity she will become as a result, none can say. And if she invokes the key and opens a portal to the other worlds, she will have access to vast amounts of ether to bring bear against us. We must be prepared for anything. Alright. Asim. <laughs> Time to bust out the Asim stone, right? But whatever we encounter won't change our objective. It won't change what I'll do. Come on, friends. It's time to sell this. Notice. Got the Asim soul stone and they're ready. Besides, this thing ain't finished. New regular is planning to do the final review support. Oh, perfect. I don't have to worry about going in and handling people. I'll just go with random robots. I stand ever ready. I won't let you down. Let's get to it. All right, that should do it. I think. Let's go. Off to the great library of Alexandria. Oh.
Burn it alive like the Romans did. Because fuck it, that's why. Oh, wow. Alexandria. What a beautiful, serene look. What will happen if I break that ship apart? Alright, why are they running? They are running towards that. Alright, alright. I have a tank stance on. Let's go. Oh. Sinks. To the memories of better days, I bid farewell. Have you heard? Princess Fiend is here. Wah, wah, wah. A pair of giant chickens blocking my way. I'll show you what I do with chickens, Eddie. Boo, bitches. If I smile, it is because you all smile for me. Oi, over here, dipshit. Alright. Even more dipshits. Perfect. Now you're just in this. Yeah, I definitely the point five. What? All right. What do we have here? Well, aren't you elegant in nature? Okay, I'm not gonna stand behind it. And considering it's around, I don't see any positionals. All right. All right. What happened if I stand? All right. All right. I know what happens. I know what happens now. All right, all right. I had to take three bone stacks. Use home gang, but I think I got it. Jesus Christ. Ooh, all right, all right. This time you ain't catch me off guard, you freaking piece of shit. Well, never mind, it caught me off guard. That overlap was a bitch. And again, uh. Well, shitter tier, thank you very many. At least they said the wall stacks and I have an idea what I'm doing now. Good for me. I'm going raw, guys. Alright, let's build up some... Well, I don't need to worry about positionals, so I can just stay in front and dodge if you have easy things to dodge. Yes, I'm already one bone stack up. Now there should be a tank buster incoming, I think. Yep. I've got you now. 
It changed directions this time, alright. Alright, I can see why it changed directions. It has a different pattern, this piece of shit. Whoa! All right, all right, I think I got an idea how to best deal with it. It's gonna be easier to just go towards the end of the plat- towards the edge of the platform than anything else. Just the beginning. Okay. All right, how are you gonna do this? Forward or backwards? You know, I'm just gonna try this thing here. Seeing the magic corner. And get clipped by the AOE somehow, again. Cause fuck you, that's why. Yeah, the... Why are they NPC? Allowing you, don't worry. Allow me. Hold still. If you say so. Come on, I don't want to deal with this anymore. Perfect. Loot, please. You are my people. And I will protect you. Perfect. The painful memories of war I lay to rest. Yes, I am here. Don't worry, I'm going ballistics for you now, in a second. It's like it knows what I need. Now, if only I can get a ring and a necklace. And <laughs> have my hobby sorted out. <laughs> yeah, a ring and a necklace. Amalgam. Amalgam these nuts in your mouth! Security breach confirmed. Initiating level 5 security protocol. Initiating level 5 beat down my ass. Dissembly? How about you do this? How about you dissemble yourself? Yeah, let me guess. Okay. I don't like where this is going. What's the matter? Did that not work out for you? Uh, wow. A little tin soldier thinks he can hit me. Okay, 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 let's see. 
Alright, I think this is gonna be a safe spot. Come on, you tin soldier, hit me! It's like I predicted this shit to happen. Uh, Wolf of my why did you do that? The worst analogy when it comes to limit breaking. And she uses limit breaker aggressively. Feast for distraction. Try this. And wow, that was supposed to be your tank buster. That's the ring of aiming. Live on. Oh. And at the last, my final <laughs> endless. Fire. Initiate protocol, my ass. Hello? Can you not be any more useless? Thank you very much. Alright, what do I get here? Quick car material. Come on. Am I asking for too much or something? Not sure what to expect here. Oh my. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Who's the dumbass that I'm gonna have to pummel? Alright, not what I was expecting. Eliminator. Hello? Wow, is that supposed to be scary? Eliminate your ass! Activate over cat. Oh, we used to rage her. Really? Target. 
Oh, are you gonna do a tank buster? Oh, never mind. It's gonna do a safe zone type of thing. Final attack sequence. Now. Walk on mod, you better watch your energy accumulation complete. Initiating final attack protocol. Final attack, my ass. Wanna try tank buster? Wanna try tank buster or something? I don't know, I'm saving this Holy shit To live and break right about now. I mean, I understand I'm a, I'm a warrior and whatnot, but. Come on! There we are! Annihilate your ass, bitch! I mean, aside from the first boss, so far, so clusterfucky. I'm wandering away. Get me out of this failed duty, Maximum Stork. I already have fucking earrings on. Fuck. Oh wow, we're in. 
Eh, actually, come think of it. This pales to what Omega had. Steen! Steen, listen to me, please! I'm afraid she's gone. Synchronization will soon be complete. Yep, she's done for. Let's break the shit open. Ugly. Synchronization complete. Data for the endless sphere has been overwritten and reconfigured. All shall be well, henceforth and in perpetuity. Forever will I keep and cherish my people. To that end, I have removed the remaining checks upon my authority. Wow. Obstructions to the plan will be summarily removed. Wait, I still have it set. Be gone from my presence. All right. You didn't realize you've missed the wrong guy According now, right? To eliminate his battle data, you pose the single greatest threat. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get some other chuckle. That's right. You will be erased here and now. Oh, why are you shaking then? I am the bearer of the memories of Queen Sveen of Alexandria, and my desire to protect my people transcends all others. If it were you, could you have found another way? With your strength, could you have held fast to that which is dear without sacrifice? I mean, didn't I say it's gonna be easy? Listen to me. There's something that I need to tell you. Is that concern or suspicion? <laughs> Try a little bit of both. If things should take a turn for the worse. Might I take it? I'm shutting you down, bucket face. <laughs> There's no two ways about it. Obstructions to the plan will be summarily removed. <laughs> Obstructions, eh? <laughs> All right. <laughs> you got your own toys? I got mine here as well. Let's see who has more firepower than Wench. <laughs> Knew it. As him.
Ay. All right, I'm gonna have to do this with regular people then. Ah, uh, well. Alright. <laughs> Let's get this party started then. And you know what? Let's start it with a dance, bitch. Because, you know, this needs... The Moonlift Dance. I mean, what are the odds of having a queue on a tank? <laughs> they were here! The Vanderbilt is here! Let's be courteous and polite. And say, sub bitches. Suffer no what you might call it. Disappear my ass. Rampage. What the hell is this supposed to be? Left and right? Alright. Afterlife. AoE damage. Let's need to accelerate it. Alright, let's do this. Okay, 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 okay. This is, shows the Colonel's Rip Bozo. <laughs> All right. All right, so that's uh, So deploying Sims, eh? Oh, looky here. It's got a tank on our buster. Excellent stack to the reductions. Alright, so it's gonna do two on the right side. Alright, I'm staying on the left then. Titan has a few choice words with you, Missy. Uh, show me what exactly. Wow! If I ha I'm pretty sure I've seen this in a raid encounter somewhere. Holy! Never mind. I have not seen that. Well, anyways, I will unga bunga my way out of this one. You know what? Fuck it. Let's see. Alright. Ah! Alright. That didn't quite hit the mark. Alright. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I won't be able to time this thing. And then not to mention this is not 
counter this uh, fucking hell. Oh uh, well, one von stack. I'm not the worst thing you can have. Alright, where exactly are we gonna start sucking this shit up, bitch? Down the middle, alright. Alright, to the right. Left to the window, to the walls, to the sweat drop down my balls. Ah, uh, these bitches crawl, huh? Ah, uh, tank busters, motherfucker. Huh? Oh, what was that? Was that supposed to hurt? Oh, wait, I'm a warrior. Pretty sure you attempted something. Alright, poster center. Alright, so. F Wait for it, wait for it, perfect. Now your attack swift. I will show you my axe. What the hell? Eh. Alright, I'm just gonna do this. All right, that's not something I've seen. Ah, I get it, I get it. If you're high, you go through these. If you're on the ground, you go through these things. All right, all right. Holy fucking hell. Oh, crap. All right. Stacks. I can't rip aggro. I'm gonna cry if I don't rip the aggro off somehow from the other tank. All right, let's do this shit. Come on, crits! Come on, crits! Come on, crits! Alright. Alright, alright, so this one's gonna trigger. Now moving here. What are the odds of the other tank just face checking? And what the hell is this other sage uh, trying to heal himself only? Fuck it. Just a 
All right, so was it a complete waste of limit break there? All right, good to know. Listen, Missy, you ain't getting my ether, you know. Alright, so it's... Alright, so it's gonna be safe here, since she's gonna go for the middle. Oh, fucking hell. It's like... Pick your poison. Back in a tank spot, so let us rise up. Well, aren't you annoying? Oh shit, this is gonna suck! Let's do this fat limit break. Apparently they didn't like the comment that I said if something like last time happens we just dump LB3 there. So we had LB We just used tank LP and heal afterwards had LB3 again, so Yeah. 
Deploying domes. All right, I'm gonna go here because. Wow. Double trouble, eh? Ah, crap. Not this shit again. Alright, I think this is a safe place. Tell home Do not be afraid. bed wedding. Kill you, let's both shields of the wazoo, let's do damage reduction. Is this a rift in reality? Has she lost control of the power? Sting, listen to me. Thanks for making things worse. This is what I desire, and I will not fail. Yada yada yada. Well, could be worse.
Oh boy, now here comes the... Let me save the talking toaster. Your voice reached me, Lamachi. Is it... Is it really you? No, only in part. My memories as a living person are gone. I've been remade from those I had as an endless. However... I cannot remain long, for the Meso Terminal will soon cease to function. Once, you wanted to know me, Lamachi. Let my last act be to give an honest accounting. I am, above all, sorry. For the suffering I've caused your people and mine. I am ultimately powerless against the inevitable. Where, where, where? Do aught but visit harm upon the innocent. I am, in the end, a pitiful, selfish creature. One that should never have been created. Uh, your merely a system created sustain Alexandria, yeah. Considering it's yeah. Sounds about fitting. Our nations are worlds apart. But they feel so close. Who knows what we could have accomplished had we walked together towards a shared future. And yet, it could never be so. We each had our own to protect. Mm. If only I had met you when I was still alive, then perhaps. <laughs> but it's no use dwelling upon a miracle that didn't happen. Yeah. Still, if there's one thing I hope you'll believe, it is this. Brief though it was, I treasured our time together. It pains me to think that its memory will disappear along with me. I know I have no right to ask this of you, but... When I'm gone, my people, will you? We'll take care of them. Don't worry. And we will never forget the Endless. Who well, now? Neither them, nor the time we spent with you. So be free of your burdens, Sveen. Sleep well. I will. Thank you. All right. I mean, it had the Asm symbol on it, so I can go on a limb and guess where that came from. Well, my 
my beloved Alexandria. Uh, my aching head. What the? Well, there goes a glowing donut. Ripeth Bozoeth. So it was that the Meso terminal fell dark, and the Endless departed for oblivion's embrace. Their resplendent paradise was no more, as the memory sustaining it faded with the golden light. On the bright side, the sun rose. Even so, in a way, they live on. This I felt with conviction as I basked in the glow of a new dawn. All this pain inside me, don't know where it starts or when it'll end. Try to tame the agony as I close my eyes and scream to the wind. Look around and find me standing on the road. Look again, we're standing there. Cause the storm is taking everything. <sighs> it remains to be seen how interdimensional fusion may have affected other reflections. I mean, the 13th has fallen, so... The power's capacity for both good and evil. I cannot help but wonder how Sphine's deeds will be remembered by those they touched. I can already think of two reflections could benefit of this. The key that started it all was entrusted to the adventurer. Such an artifact certainly lies within the science realm of expertise, and no objection was raised to their retaining it for research. By order of Vao Kona, the sky deep cenote was placed under the strict watch of the Landsgard. With the mighty Bakul Jaja among their number, they shall not want for strength, even in Soralja's absence. Well, at least the twins are safe. The of their queen's passing, the people of Alexandria mourned and wept. Yeah. 
having devoted herself to sparing them sorrow, the sight might well have moved Sveen to tears. However, with Wuklamat carrying on her legacy, I have faith that her subjects will know joy once more. As anticipated, the news that young Gululja had succeeded his father as king was greeted with trepidation. Reception was also mixed when Wuklamat came forward to name herself as the boy's guardian. But the people were mollified to learn that Everkeep's systems remained operational and there would be no impact on their lives. Ah, uh, should have been there should have been an impact. Would have been fun to deal with. One day, when he is older, Kalulja will decide for himself what manner of ruler he will be. Till that day and beyond. May the path of the young king be illuminated by the love of family. Meanwhile, in mm -hmm. Tuliola, the people came together to hail the new <laughs> dawn servants. <laughs> oh boy, those smiles like. <laughs> Having honored those they lost, they turned their attention to a brighter future and celebrated for three days and nights. Oh, a big tackle! <laughs> so much for the tackle! Well, that stable I very much like to sit at. <laughs> like rampaging. Not everything had been resolved, though. Those who had spent thirty years in the dome struggled to resume their former lives. This and a host of other challenges remained. But, as the new Dawn Servants continue to lead with strength and wisdom, the people may be assured that peace will endure.
Oh. This should have been the end music, not that the other one. It made it feel like way too much like a Disney movie. Jesus Christ. I mean, let's be real for a minute. The ending was a literal plane crash, like, why would we really care about the sentient toaster people? Considering they literally just said to abuse somebody who obviously had some issues and forced their way into our world. I mean, <laughs> wouldn't be pretty a tick at the end of the day. Uh, but up until that point, like, maybe if they had actually more development, not being bull rushed in. Like, if. Like, here's a little bit of a crazy idea. I'd be like, alright, let's extend this a little bit. Let's delay the whole. We're gonna be stealing your ether and make it, like, one step at a time, like, feigned ignorance. Be like, oh, let's uh, try. Cooperating? I don't know. Just ramblings of a madman in general. But like, just play the piper. Try filling your way with all of this. Like, Oklamat, like, her learning from this. Maybe growing as a character. Well, hopefully that's still on the table, not being like, oh yeah, I'm always go lucky no matter what happens. And I'm like, just. Putting my character, my emotions on the sleeve, like, I mean, all search out for this shit will be least out of all of things. I mean, she was annoying. At least, like, there was a sign of maturity going on there, like, throughout Stormblood. Granted, I had the uh, privilege of actually playing this. <laughs> Without it being cut into chunks, it started in Shadowbreakers, but they... Oh, towards the end of Shadowbreakers, really. But I digress. Yeah, I mean... Pff. Didn't stick the landing, flight was nice, there were peanuts. The uh, flight crew might have been a little bit off their rockers, the guy in the front seat was screaming something incoherent about a nightclub in Limsa again. Good thing the uh, filter system works. <laughs> Either that, or he was too inebriated to properly form a sentence. But anyway, they were, ex they were advertising extreme rate progression. Like, what the fuck, mate? But anyways, probably the most memorable character. <laughs> The apologies fetish fetish guy. <laughs> like you can take my head. No, I don't need your head. Oh alright then. Always forgive it? Always forgive it. Alright. We'll move it on. Ah <laughs> uh, well. Like <laughs> What was the thing to Yeah, well, can't wait to see how they're gonna treat this moving forward. Hopefully, a little, with a little bit better improvement. I mean, like the, like the goal who ja, ja development. Obviously, he had a few screws loose, a few issues, but and those were sought through. Like then. The only thing I don't want to see is them touching the kid with something like stupid before he matures a bit. Depends on how... Actually, scratch that. Depends on how it's done. If it's piss poor like the last... The end to, of, the, <laughs> of the... The story so far. Yeah, no. Get out of there. That's it. Don't touch the... Don't touch the story, mates. Considering it's not Ishikawa that's doing all of this.
At least so the rumors go. I may be completely wrong. But considering so far, like, I've called out practically every story beat at, from, like, what was it? I think it was from the duel with Gulul Jaja. Like the fact that the the head of reason was dead, that potentially Arngol's mother is also dead, that Sveen was a robot. Yeah, well, I mean, the Radza Han thing came out of left field. Not unwelcome, though, but, like, I mean... Alright, I wanted to be raised by Lugar, like, just barging in here, guns blazing with all the dragons behind his back. <laughs> like, the actual elder dragons, not the small flies, small fry ones, but... Hey, look, can't win them all. I'll take <laughs> well, Verithra, or I'll take uh, Radzen Han no, in this case. And again, what, what are you gonna trade with dragons? Think of it. Coupon nuts? That would be the Mughals then, not the Ace of Olgar and Co. I mean. They generally don't have anything to trade, so yeah. This does make a little bit more sense. And considering Al let's say an Alpha you know, all came barging in. Yeah, I mean, yeah, sure. Yeah, I can see how they would basically convince Vritra. Now, the real question is, we have a device capable of merging realms. We have two realms that are, one is downright taken over by light, one is completely engulfed in darkness. Now, the question is, what are the odds of bleeding the two into one another? Considering it has... It had the Asim symbol... The top of the hourglass before it was absorbed. Or am I just losing my marbles again? No, I'm pretty sure it had the Asim symbol. So that means it's ancient tech, Asian. So chances are, I think I know. Was, all right, in full hat time. I think the reason why it triggered with just prayers was because of Hydalin. Of. She triggered it to get those out of there so that we have a way in the future to sort out the other realms? Question? The other reflections? Question mark? I mean, thinking for a minute here, it's like. Now. Well, makes sense if we're cleaning cleaning up after her. No, oh, what a beautiful rendition! Like, yeah, if we're to considering, like, how many realms were that were out of commission? If I remember correctly, I mean, we have like what seven realms that are out of commission. Four that are like fine, two that are overtaken by their element. So, 
Yeah, I mean, I can see how, like, how we can use that to balance out the two other realms. The Void Sand just want to die. So, like, and considering the first Zori, there are already attempts to terraform the, the damn wasteland. I mean, I can see where this can pick up with, like, considering what's going on on Zero's front, like, and this thing can actually merge realms. Who says we can't just pop in there in Zero's old domain and be like, Oi, Zero, got some good news. We can actually... We might be able to help you here. That's gonna also give us an excuse to go to the first. Alright, 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 alrighty then. I think I have an idea how we can just bounce off of this thing. Considering the Warrior of Light is the only one who can travel without worrying about physical limitations. And we know that, like, we currently only have, like, what, five five realms that are somewhat level four realms aside for reflection for shards that are non uh, fucked with because then we had like what seven calamities uh, seven worlds the first and thirteenth are all manners of screwed on the elemental side. So yeah. I can already smell how this can proceed. Now the question is... What's gonna be the feedback from the people and how will Square Enix proceed with this? This is the m most interesting part of it all. Not the story, I mean the story then was meh as already mentioned, so hey, it is what it is. Can't win them all. Wait. You think he put himself at the front of the list, eh? All right. <laughs> Hey, you too. I'm sorry, we haven't been able to talk properly. Oh, between the reconstruction work and Papa's funeral, I've hardly had time to breathe. Yeah, come on in. But at long last, oh, there's a lull in my duties. You've done more for us than we could ever hope to repay. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. When we left the Orsia behind to take part in the contest, none of us could have predicted what complications would follow. You truly have a knack for finding trouble, my friend. Tell me about it. And you wouldn't have it any other way. So what's next for you? Assuming you're still set on leaving the Gleaner's life behind? Wait. I'm off to fulfill my mother's dream, of course. Like she had intended, I'll embark on a journey in search of the unknown. She's sure to enjoy my stories when we meet again in the ethereal sea. Well, well. Sounds like a plan. But will you have the coin to get by? I may no longer be a cleaner, but I still have contacts in Charlien. Contacts with deep pockets. Always eager to pay for information on new or rare species. <laughs> You've got it all worked out. What, you wanted to bankroll him? Any new adventures in the offing? 
Yep. Regardless, until you're ready to leave, you're our guest here in Tulijola. And this time, I won't pester you to take up a post. Good. By now, I know you well enough to know you can't stay in one place. No more than you can ignore the plight of those in need. Your path will always lead you elsewhere, and you'll continue walking it. Isn't that so? Pretty much. An adventurer to the marrow you are. What is it exactly that spurs you on? <laughs> Where's the green option? Oh, the I mean my love for a star. Meh. Outside of the sea. Meh. I mean the legacies I bear. Yeah, sure, I'll do that, considering a few things. What? <laughs> yeah, that... Yeah, this thing... <clears throat> Alright. What to this? Alright, alright. Well, as much as I'd love to keep chatting, I need to get going. Still a heap of things to do. And it wouldn't do to leave it all to corner. Oh wait, did Guluja decide to remain in Solution 9? He did. I said he can continue can consider to leave all his home, but he's more comfortable over there. Shayla keeps on for us. We'll visit him as often as we can. He still needs our support, especially while he agonizing over his inherit inherited authority. Though I told him he needn't make a decision right away, we can't postpone it forever either. I'll do whatever I can to help Wolja as well as everyone inside the dome. I'll miss as much to spleen. For my part, I'll keep be keeping around for a time. Among other things, I'd like to look the problem with the wildlife in Shalom. You ever get the urge, Archer? Let's go on another journey together. There's still plenty of places I'd like to show you. That sounds like fun. If you ever have need of me, I'll come running. Oh, before I forget, I have a gift for you. You can guess what it is a mount. An alpaca. It comes from Tobley Stables, of course, and it's as sure footed as they come. <laughs> I'll take it. It's fluffy. Perfect for a picture who is on the move, eh? Here, this is the whistle for calling it. Yay, I got some alpaca! Alright, I'll really get it going now, but I'm sure we'll meet again soon. Till next time, take care. Oh. Orchestra and alpaca pistol. Hey. Alrighty then. Hello, citizens of Alexandria. Ever since our beloved queen's passing, you have understandably abided in grief. Sorrow darkens your once bright faces. But is is this what her majesty would have wished to see? No, most surely not. You know this to be true. If we're to honor her memory, we must reclaim our smile. To that end... <laughs> the graphics cards come to life. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, I'm going in butt naked there. 
<laughs> oh yeah. Who the fuck are you? Wait a minute. That's right, friends. After a long hiatus, I'm pleased to announce the grand reopening of the Arcadian. The world's finest fighters stand ready to entertain you in glorious and thrilling combat. Come and join us, I bet you. Let your career cares be forgotten. Was that an invite to a slaughter, mate? The skies of flame proclaim night's end and in thoughts into adventure stay brave make haste. What?